Hello and welcome to another advanced skill video. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at Control Mesh. Control Mesh is the functionality that gives us what we're seeing here, the ability to select anywhere on a mesh. And it is essentially a controller. Now what we're seeing here is the colorized control mesh. Now it's more handy to see the actual result of the rig and to display the colorized control mist only at the time where you're making the selection. So in this video, we're going to see how we can set up control mesh and add the colorization and also how we can be using this hotkey functionality to show the control meshes only when we want to make the selection. So let's start from the top. We will go into advanced control. In the body section, there is a subsection called control mesh. Each button has their own little help images with some documentation. So we will remove this control mesh from our uh, demo character here. If you wanted to access this demo character, you can do that in the demo section. It is the character called powder and it can be automatically downloaded and opened from the demo section. So let's bring this character back into default pose and we'll remove all the current control meshes. And we'll look at how we can create new ones. So the first button, create control mesh, is uh, the most basic of all the functions that allows you to do it on an individual controller basis. So if you want one controller, one control mesh for one controller, you would just select the faces, say for the entire wrist, you want all these faces to be the selection for the wrist, then select all the faces. Shift select to add that controller and hit the button, create control mesh. Then to make sure that we don't select the mesh itself, it can be handy to have the mesh on a layer and set the layer to type reference. So that can't be selected. So now when we select the hand, it is actually the controller that we are selecting. So that is the button that allows you to create one control mesh for one controller. Now I'll delete that. And this time I'll show you the next button is the auto generation of control meshes. So this just uh, scans through the entire mesh and based upon the skin weighting, cuts up meshes for each controller. So one way to see the result is if you turn off the visibility of the mesh itself, here we can see the character is gone, but all these are cut up control meshes and you can select any one of these and you're essentially selecting the controller. Another button here is the colorization, which can also be handy to clearly differentiate between the different controllers. So let's hit that and you see we get this uh, pattern of colors applied to the various control meshes. If we uh, go ahead and select the control uh, the mesh that has the face on it and we run create control mesh, it also scans through all the whiting and cuts up the mesh accordingly and creates individual control meshes. So essentially, create control mesh also works on the face setup. Again, we'll colorize it so we can clearly see the individual parts. And there we go. We will set the main actual geometry uh, display type here to reference the R, which means whenever we select, we are selecting the control meshes. Now, as you're getting more and more control meshes, you'll find that the performance starts to be a bit slower. That's essentially because there's a lot of meshes that are deforming in the scene. And a handy way to be optimizing for this is to work with the hotkey that toggles the visibility for the control rig. And to turn that on, you just open the selector or the picker tool and go to the display drop-down menu and hit the button set hotkey. And it explains here what it creates and essentially the upper left corner key on your keyboard, the tilde key, essentially becomes a hotkey. Uh, and the way it works is somewhat similar to the hot box that uh, is in Maya, in that you hold it down for as long as you want the function and you let it go and you toggle, it goes back. So this allows you to essentially not see any of the control measures for the majority of the time. Only exactly at the time you want to pick a controller, you hold down the tilde key, you make your selection and you let go of the tilde key, you have now made that selection. 
another thing is that uh, by default you will see both the controller curves and the control meshes if you want to turn off the controller curves one way is you can turn off curves in this uh, show filter here but the another way that is uh, you can do it is you select the main controller once you use the control mesh functions you'll have new attributes here which are control curves and control mesh width so you can essentially toggle here all the control meshes on and off or you might want to leave all the control meshes on and turn off all the control curves that's it for this time i hope you have enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time